from Laderette with the wind at his back should be able to kick it right out of the end zone. So we're ready to go. The last two times that they've gone to Tuscaloosa, Arkansas has been able to win. The last time they played here, though, it was Alabama coming up with the victory. The line drive in and out of the hands of Bryant. He'll stay right there. That has been the effectiveness that Callaway, as you see right there, has been able to do in the first two games for the tie. Alexander, tight formation with McClintock. Will they get there? No. They stop the play completely, loses a half a yard. Second and 10 from the 28. And it's fired out of the missed tackle, complete for a first down. It goes out to Anthony Lucas, the junior from Tallulah, Louisiana. In the eye with three wideouts, he'll big crease. He's into the secondary. Nice cut for a first down. He gets to the outside, all the way inside the 35. Madre Hill bumped out by Ziegler. Third and 10 from the 34. Out of the shotgun. They pick up the first down. Plenty of time over the middle. The man is knocked down from behind, and here comes the flag late. So he went in for the wide receiver, Hubert Loudermill. It's going to be an interesting call because one of the side judges came over and said he thought that it was incidental. They got their legs tied up, but that's not what the official saw. To go into the end zone. Now what do they do on second and five? The draw, Hill. Big hole up the middle. He's got the first and goal. Down to the five. I like it. Well, right now they're trying to start the contest. The SEC opener with a 72-yard scoring drive. Second and goal. Naked bootleg. Will Sterner get there? Makes the man miss, but loses the football out of bounds at the two. Once again, Joel, this is an outstanding play by Kelvin Sigler. Wind at his back, Todd Laderette. He's only missed once this year, a 7 of 12 last year, to give Arkansas the lead from 19 yards away. He pulled it over to the left side. Wow. The placements for both teams have been a sore spot over the last couple of years at third and 10, trying to avoid their second straight three and out with a punt. Trying to set up a screen for Sean Alexander. Gets a block to the 20, but won't get the marker. And he fumbles the ball out of bounds inside his own 25. And to punt it away, Daniel Pope once again. Moss waits back deep, the defensive back. And this is a wobbler and a very short one into the wind. A break for Arkansas. And they're going to get the ball in Bama territory near the Crimson Tide 43. See if Arkansas can capitalize after only a 19-yard punt by Pope when we come back. Turner, and not enough. The wide receiver belted Michael Williams by Sigler, and what a start tonight for the free safety Sigler. Aiken to punt away, junior from West Helena, Arkansas. Sigler back at the five. It's going to be a fake. They go to the up man. Nobody knows. Can he get to the first down marker? Holding on to the ball. No, he won't get there. What a great play. Super idea, but... They what? didn't execute it. The ball is going to be right here. Reggie Grimes is actually going to sit here and wait. You're going to see him wait. All of, Everybody's going to go in this direction. Kennedy's going to sit and wait. He waits just a little bit too long. Take a look at Grimes right here, sitting and waiting and waiting. Cuts back against the grain. There's Grimes to help drop him. Boy, that's great discipline on the part of the defense for Alabama. No basketball coach and assistant there. The reverse. Will it be available? Yes. A lot of time for Quincy Jackson. First down and end some. Little razzle dazzle, a gadget play after the gadget didn't work for Arkansas. Two wide receivers to each side. Plenty of time. Now it collapses. Still up running for it. Will they get to the marker? Gets a block to the outside. Another beautiful block downfield. First down. The wide receivers did a good job. Lost a couple, caught a 34. On the quick out, it batted down to the line. Getting a piece of it. Quentin Caver, the sophomore. Oh, Lugner is one of three. On his young career, junior from Sarasota, Florida. It's back, the placement's good, it's bending, will it stay? Yes, just inside the upright. Wow. And Alabama has the lead on the 42-yard field goal by Flugner. Count it game day on ESPN at 11 a.m. on the East Coast. Sterner gunning the wideout, beats the tackle. The wide receiver, Anthony Lucas, with a first down. Madre Hill, the single set of the long count by Sterner. After the play fake, he's got the seam available, and he's got his first down to Anthony Lucas. Closer to 200, maybe 205. Now, as you said, he's been in the weight room, there's no doubt. Movement again up front, this time from Jamie Carter. He jumped off earlier. That'll give him a first down. Dead ball, encroachment on the defense. There are plenty of those in the family as well. 
First and ten, outside of the 20. Looking, pitch and go. Into the end zone it goes. Touchdown, Arkansas! Mesmerides in the defensive back was Michael Snowden. One of the interesting things with regards to Sterner is he didn't actually start playing quarterback until he was a senior in high school. That's amazing. Runner 31. It taken away from John David Phillips. And he throws it up for grabs and it's picked off. Coming up with the interception, Kanoi Kennedy, the free safety. It's going to come back. Phillips so far, three of seven. Total of 17 yards. Looking to the second and ten outside the 45. Alexander popped in the backfield. Great penetration. Knifing through J.J. Jones, Jr. from Magnolia, Arkansas. He's got the wind at his back this time. And will it find the end zone or find the corner? Get it going wow. Out yes. Oh what my a break. Wow. Out of bounds it goes. Are you just kidding? outside the goal line. Third and nine. Big play as far as the field position of this contest is concerned. 10.46 left of the first half. Sterner moving the pocket to buy some time. Has a man at the 10, and is it taken away? No, it's knocked away. Almost picked off by Marcus Spencer. Garner, big playmaker with all those tackles behind the line. And a couple of sacks. Out of the shotgun. John David Phillips setting up the screen to Alexander. Who's shot down from behind. Good pursuit on the play by Ryan Hale. Next Saturday night on the Deuce, Todd, we are going to be in Little Rock. Tim Couch and Kentucky matching up with the Razorbacks of Arkansas who have the ball on a 7-3 lead. Madre Hill breaking tackles out of the backfield and close to a first down. He's got the first down out to the 32. The senior from Malvern, Arkansas, Madre Hill. Play fake this time to Hill going deep down the sideline. And a flag thrown and maybe on the wide receiver, Anthony Lucas. Is that he's going to turn and he... Boy, I tell you Tough what, break, that is, it really is. So you know he's got some quick feet. Inside of seven minutes left in the half. With time and a wide open receiver knocked away from Michael Williams. Loose ball picked up by the Crimson Tide. And Steve Stanley, the one we were just talking about. But the pop made by Kevin Sigler has been everywhere. Phillips, the perfectionist, said uh, what he learned was that it's okay to fail as long as you get back up and keep trying. And this guy has been a survivor. Back he, to you. You, Joel Alexander, on third and eight with a first down, his longest run by far of the contest. So now it's going to be third, almost eight. Alexander trying to get outside. He won't get the first down with a flag down late on the near sideline. I think they're going to have holding on the left tackle. Good call, partner. Now third at 18. Pocket holds up. Overthrown by a good margin. Going for Quincy Jackson. And it did. That penalty took him right out of field goal range. This is 55 yards. The attempt downwind out of the hold of the punter Pope. Placement is clean. It's up. Wow. It's got the direction. Does it have the distance? Oh, my yes. gosh. And it's got 10 yards behind that. Look at that. 55-yard field goal by Flugner. It could have been from 65 yards away. From the 20. Kuma, fast run, across the 25, 30, spins for five more to the 35. He's been very quiet simply because he hasn't touched the ball all that often. Couldn't tell from the look on his face. 55-yarder. Chakuma breaking tackles into the secondary. Another first down for Chris Chakuma, the junior. With a pocket holds up, with the corner blitz coming. They hit the wide out, Emmanuel Smith breaking the tackle, gets the first down. That's a great block downfield by Hubert Loudermilk to enable him to get the first down. From the 37, trying to use the sideline. It's complete to the wide receiver once again. Michael Snowden, who's got the only touchdown of the game. Out of the shotgun, will it be a quarterback draw like Todd was just talking about? Pocket does hold up for Sterner going the other way. Wide opens the tight end for the first time he's gone that way. Joaquin Davenport, will he get in? Yes, touchdown Arkansas. Well, the tie taking no chances. And you would think the way Flugner hit it, a couple of first downs, and all of a sudden, inside midfield, one long play, and maybe they've got a shot. And they still have a timeout remaining, but they're going to let the clock wind down. And, and I got to tell you, Joel, I don't like this for the other reason, and that's that the momentum is completely with Arkansas heading into the half. What a boost for Arkansas to get the touchdown, and now Alabama says we're content to go in down by eight. 
So that's going to be the end of the first 30 minutes of play. SEC opener for Arkansas. Successful so far. They lead it 14 to 6 as we head back to the studio. Mike Adamley and John McAvoy. Gentlemen, the Alabama defense has been doing its job. It's a speed defense, like you mentioned, in the first 30. And the tight end gets away. What a night for Joe Dean. Joe Dean Davenport across the 35 to the 36. Brandon Burles with the potential All-American has been outstanding. Third and eight now. It'll be the delay from Andre Hill. Can't beat him to the boundary and is not to the bounds. Well short of the first down. Good pursuit down the line by the strong safety, Tony Dixon. He is two behind McGuire at the 67th and 68th home runs of the year. Going on the deep out on the wide side of the field, John David Phillips. A strong throw to get it over there to Michael Vaughn. They'll run McClintock. Pull back in motion. On second and a couple. Alexander getting a full head of steam past the 30. And averaging better than 200 yards a game in those three. Just got it off in time. And now on third and seven, Phillips can't get away. Quarterback draw, Joel. That was intentional. He took his three steps back. Well, he told us yesterday, and you brought it up, Melvin Bradley said it's a real key, but they have to have a big game from him. He's doing exactly that as Madre Hill waits for a block. It develops, and he's got the first down. That was real patience by a senior running back. A lot of hurries so far tonight. Third and ten. Over the middle, a dangerous throw. Lucas went down. Will he draw a flag? No. He's got 11 carries so far. The option. Alexander with a step on, but can't get away from the defensive back who shut down the play. Coming up, Jeremy Flowers, the bandit. With a punt from Daniel Pope into the win. Let's see if he keeps it low again like he did before. No. Nope. Oh, high my and he blows one out. What wind, he said. Hit sideways. Crimson Tide touch it all the way back at the 13-yard line, and what a bomb. All right, congratulations on a great idea, and let's hope it uh, comes to fruition. Thank you very much. Dick Roy Cuba. Kramer, our guest. Back to you. Thank you. Takuba sliding off his tackle. Out All the... right, Mike, we were just talking about deferring to Madre Hill. That took Houston nut by surprise. Finish that thought on second and eight. Plenty of time. Throwing it wide, but getting a break. And the wide receiver, Smith, breaks a tackle. Smith holding on to it inside the 40. All the way down to the 37. Got 11 completions for 189 yards and a couple of touchdown tosses. That's in 25 attempts out of the shotgun. Wide open over the middle. The wide receiver for the easy score. Michael Snowden is second of the night. Right. From the 26 out of the shotgun. Phillips with room to roam. He takes a shot downfield by Painter, the rover back. And Phillips banged up, called his own number. No, Alexander, forget it. Knifing through early, Quentin Caver. We talked about his overall talent early. He could have stayed there, Bob Toledo, possibly using him at UCLA, but he wanted to come back to his alma mater and turn things around with Houston Nutt. Weaving his way, Chacoma. Breaking tackles for a first down across the 30. The final minute of the third quarter. Trying to get outside the containment. Good job again by Stern to buy some time. Wagner wants him, though, and takes a shot at him at the end of the play. But the tight end, Joe Dean Davenport, comes through. And he's got a first down and a flag, I believe, a late hit on Wagner. What a shot on the quarterback. You know what? I got to tell you, though. The man, Brandon Burlesworth, working on his Masters, second team All-SEC last year. You look at the glasses, you look at the face. Does he write for the Daily Planet? I'm telling you what, 3.53 in business management as a graduate, I think the reason he's doing that is that way he doesn't have to have an agent when he represents his pro deal. Madre Hill, one man to beat, and Sigler knocks him out of bounds. Inside the five, first and goal, Razorbacks in the eye. Chikuma, and Arkansas just keeps rolling it up now on Alabama. A minute into the fourth quarter. John David Phillips stays in there, though. And do they want to put him in when or the defense is turning their ears back and going after the quarterback like this situation? A sack of Phillips, who does a good job just to hang on to the ball. Sterner out of the shotgun, four wide receivers setting up. And he had Lucas again, just wide of his intended target. 112 yards total offense for three quarters, not good. Phillips out of the shotgun, picked off inside the 15. And Arkansas gets it right back as Jeremy Flowers, the bandit, stepped in front. Madre Hill has been kept out of the end zone. It's his turn. Let's see if he can get there. Madre Hill with a block. Finally 
finally gets in. Despite the 35 to 6 score inside of 11 minutes to go, Alexander indecisively losing more yardage. Sean Alexander certainly a quality back, but it just hasn't been his night. Phillips in trouble and gets back to the line of scrimmage, no sack, but still. Disappointment continues though for Sean Alexander. 14 carries only 15 yards tonight. Going for the wide receiver, Quincy Jackson. He's got enough for the first down. Cradling it. Good grab. You know what, though, Joel? The thing that stands out about that graphic is the amazing contrast. Nearly, you know, 340 yards nearly in those first two games and eight touchdowns. He hasn't been within sniffing, you know, sniffing distance of the end zone. And once again, naturally, a good play for Alabama has to be brought back by a penalty. And so now third and long out of his own end zone, Phillips. Flags on the play and a dead ball foul coming up. We have a legal snap on the offense. The whistle is not blown to begin the play. You know the kind of pressure Mike DeBose has on him. Four and seven last year, losing four times in Tuscaloosa. Four and seven, their worst record since 1957. Tough times for the Crimson Tide. Alexander on the delay. Fumbles it at the two. Does Arkansas get it again? Yes, they do. Coming out with it. Harry Wilson. Trying to add to their 35 to 6 lead. Stinson trying to right side. To the corner he goes. Breaking the tackle. He's in. Touchdown, Arkansas. Well, Dixon, the free safety, was the guy that got him before. With all the pork consumed tonight, this guy is the only safe hog in Arkansas. I'm told Tusk likes Fleetwood Mac. Sean Alexander losing yardage on first down, loses about three. Winning, winning is the panacea, man. It fixes everything. Third and about seven, Alexander into secondary on the delay. He's got the first down and keeps the clock going as soon as they move the chains. Are you surprised here to see him still in the game? I think what it is, these boys came in and uh, when, the, when the coaches came in and took over, and they all, and they really got together and got their head together, and they really, uh, I mean, when they really got together, and I felt like, well, they don't have a good team. Huge hole up the middle for Branch. He's got the first down up to the 30-yard line. Nobody could have anticipated the way the series has gone that it would be a blowout. You have a chance to go a long way. It's going to be Branch angling it back, and he's ridden in a hurry. Won't quit in the play. Still loses about three or four, though. Zhao is taken over at quarterback. And the running back past the midfield stripe, picking up about eight, nine yards. Final snap for Zhao. And the Razorbacks and Arvin Richards put down after a gain of about four. So the celebration begins. Houston Nutt is 3-0 in his first year as a Razorbacks head coach. And they got it going both, both sides of the ball in the second 30 minutes of play. Well, again, it may be a little bit early, but it, clearly they have some terrific athletes. They're playing together, and I think the issue here is he's talked over and over again. The people are having a lot of fun. Our final score, the Razorbacks 42, the Crimson Tide 6. From Todd Christensen and Chris Marlowe, I'm Joel Myers. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us so long, everybody, from Fayetteville. Stick around, though. Stay tuned for NFL Tonight.